Alex Ravel, three points, but boy, you made a sweat a bit at the end. Yep, uh, I think that uh, the for us it's looking at the game um, and trying not to make that last five minutes of the game where obviously they they threw everything at us. Smokes in what uh, a top performance it was in terms of chances created, um, forward movement. You know the, the the way that we're playing at the minute is. It's really exciting to watch um, and we should have been out of sight in the first half, let alone the second half. Um, if someone had to watch this game today and said we won 5-6-0, no one would have batted an eyelid. So we have to take real positives and that's what I've just said to the players that um, you know we don't let the last five minutes deter from what a, what a really top performance it was away from home. I don't think it's the first time um, in the two recent history that the goalkeeper's been man of the match. And I counted three times you hit the woodwork as well. Yeah, I, th I think we've had, not only that we, you know, we had 21 shots today, but they're not even including moments, you know, where we've got our tens running at the back line and we've got two players running in behind and we choose maybe that final pass isn't right. So, um, you know, it's exciting to watch. You know, for us, yes, it's frustrating. I, I, I get frustrated because I... I see this, and, and we should, you know, we we should be sitting here now going, "That's a fantastic, you know, Elliot List could potentially have scored a hat trick. Luke Norris could have scored two, um, and then, you know, we're talking about a set piece goal, which, you know, we haven't been good at, but we're improving on. That's won us the game ultimately. But, you know, a win's a win, and um, they're hard to come by. No matter what run you're on, you have to work extremely hard. And it's summed up with Luther's block at the end that, you know, for all our dominance and top play. The last five minutes, they came up to us and, and we defended really well. So really pleased with, with all of them because they're giving absolutely everything every day. I just spoke to uh, Scott and just said, I thought that first half was probably the most easy, easy on the eye this season. It was, it was just so good to watch. It really was, yeah. And I think that's because, you know, we've limited them to one shot, I think, outside the box, which Jamie caught. Um, and you know, we, we had numerous chances, didn't we? We, we slid Elliot List in, potential I thought was a penalty. Uh, we scored obviously from the set piece, and there was just so many opportunities we had um, to, to really go and punish them. And, and that, that is what we have to improve on. Um, you know, we keep saying people keep saying to me, "What is the aim?" That's the aim. That's the aim to to to, to put away those chances, create. You know, when we were in those positions, to slide someone in to score a goal. Because if we do that. We'll be winning. We'll be winning more games than we lose, and we'll be winning them by the more margins than what we did today. A bit fraught for you on the touchline as well. Saw so a couple of times the the notepad went flying, and then the yellow card came out. Yeah, I, I just think you know, for us, I think they're the games that probably in past I've probably seen, and we haven't taken anything from. But maybe that's how far we've come. Well, it is how far we've come. Um, and again, my frustration is. Uh, some of the play that we had. I, I want I want people to, to see us, you know, almost with Elliot List chance that we had, it just went wide. It's, it's, it's fantastic play and it deserved the goal. And I'm just, I'm craving that because it's so enjo it's so enjoyable to watch. Um, and they're, they're, the, the confidence they're showing is, 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 is amazing. So my frustration is just that I feel that that should have been a 5-6 nil. I do. And then um, that might be, two high standards that we have but ultimately that's where we want to get to and that's where they want to get to now um, they know what they're capable of um, and, uh, yeah a little yellow card I think so I'll have to uh, make sure I speak to Alex and see what he wants to do with that one <laughs> <laughs> and we move on Monday it's Bradford's side arguably you should have got something from up there yeah. so all to play for and again it's another three points on on offer and oh, I don't know I'd I don't want to say it, Alex, but those playoffs, and I mean, you're five points away now. We're all talking about it, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think Monday now is bringing probably together two teams that are, have had probably the best form since Christmas, I would say, apart from Bolton. You know, I think that Bradford went on a brilliant run, didn't they? And then they lost a few, and then they're back on it, and I know they won today. So I think it's bringing together two teams that are giving everything to, to get as high as they can up the table. Uh, where that ends, who knows? Um, and listen, you know, all we can do, and, I've, and I'm really uh, passionate about that, is that as long as our performance are as high as they are now, 
and we need to, and we can get better, we are getting better, then the performances and the res, uh, sorry the results will take care of themselves. Um, and we're seeing that, aren't we? You know, you're watching it. Hopefully, everyone at home's watching it and seeing them, everyone grow and how we're dominating games. And um, also, if when we play like that, results will take care of themselves. So we're all looking forward to being in tomorrow. We're in on Sunday, ready to, to get prepared for a, a, another exciting game on Monday. You're just getting yourself into that position where you can't park the season. Um, a lot of clubs now are just starting looking at next season and yeah. something like that. But you're not in that position at the moment because you've got to make sure that you're the ones there to take advantage yeah. of, of anybody else. I, I, I've got to be honest, um, even if we were in a position that wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't let that happen. Uh, they've, they've, they've got their standards that they've, they've set now. And, and to be honest with you, um, because it's such a really good group to work with, they know, you know, they know where they are. They know their standards. They know if someone drops, well, they bring them back into line. So when you when you create that as a football club, as a uh, you know, like we have, we've got to be really proud of that. Um, we've got to be really proud of that because it's something that I was really big on, and, and all the staff and all the players are so together, and, and, and you can feel it. And I'm sure everyone, hopefully at home, and you guys can as well. That you know, hopefully we're we're putting smiles back on faces again and. That's, that's what we all want to do and, and um, you know we, we've just got to keep going the way we are keep believing keep pushing every day to make sure we, we get we're at our best and, and like I said when you perform like that results will take care of themselves and hopefully that happens again on Monday well never mind the smiles on our faces there's a smile on your face and the smile of the players around you as well yeah that's all you know we've created an environment I think where everyone is enjoying themselves you know some people can I remember saying I think some people said enjoy you know Yes, they've got to be, you know, they've got to be passionate, they've, they've got to be serious. But ultimately, when you enjoy yourself, you play your best, you work to your best abilities, and that's what they're doing now. And yeah, you know, the only person in there at the minute is probably Elliot List and Luke Norris that aren't smiling. But ultimately, you know, Luke Norris's work rate today and his hold-up play yeah. outweighs any work that he misses his penalty for the team. You know, Elliot List's uh, ability to run in behind, his work again, that outweighs anything. It does. Uh, for us right now, because that, we are a together that work. We're a team, sorry, that works as hard as they can. So we'll put a smile on their face on the way home, and we'll make sure that they're ready to go again on on Monday and go and put it right.